You've come to this hearing to justify spending a couple of hundred million dollars more than DHS says they can do this job. To your specifications, I might add, this wasn't their training they priced to you. This is your training they priced to you. I want that to be very clear. They said they would do everything you need to have happen. So what does this cost you now over your 19 different contracts? What is the annual cost of this training now? How much do we spend every year on training? How much do you spend total lodging, travel? You have 19 different lease facilities that you are now doing this training in. Uh, 11 and I guarantee hard you they're skills. not all in the Washington area. 11 hard skills training locations. And eight soft skills. You Which have are in 19 the Northern Virginia total. area. Yes. Aren't they going to be able to do the soft skills also at the DHS facility? No, we are doing the soft skills here up at FSI and in the Northern Virginia area right around here. But they could. Do it there. No, didn't they? Wasn't their price? Didn't their price include soft? Whose price? DHS. Uh, if we moved everybody down, but we never looked at those numbers of moving. At That's even, part of my problem. Even more people down. The the cost basis that we have is just for the hard skills. Okay. What it is the cost? It would even longer and higher cost. If to you move want to split it down. out, split it out. What is your total cost for hard skills versus soft skills right now? You got 11 contracts and 11 facilities for hard. You have eight for soft. What is your total cost right now? I don't have that figure. You came to this hearing and you don't know that number. I do not seriously. Have that figure. Uh, yes, Senator. I do not have that. We are talking number. about whether or not this is a cost efficient facility, and you can't even tell me what it costs you now? Senator, we're talking about the construction costs of a facility. No, the we're talking about costs, what this facility is going to cost the taxpayers, period. That's correct, the facility. The training costs are going to be this, relatively the same whether we do it here. Actually, we will lower the per student cost by consolidating. Um, I just don't happen to have those figures at the top okay. of my fingertips. So let me try another one. Um, you don't know how much the soft training is costing. You don't know much of the hard training is costing. Um, you, when asked about how many weeks you had, you said you didn't. Some were seven months and some was a week. She knew how many weeks you needed. How many weeks of soft training do you need and how many weeks of hard training do you need? Senator, I'll take that back for the record. Oh, my and give gosh. You, Senator, you don't even know how many weeks of training you need? Senator, At this hearing? I know every course that we run. I know that our fact training is one week long and we do 150 iterations per year. I know that our basic special agent training is seven months long and I generally get two to three to four classes a year depending on funding. I, un I understand you know all that and, and I'm, I'm, I really... I just don't happen to have the totals this at is my fingertips. A, this is a business decision. This is a business decision, and this is about, it's called a cost-benefit analysis. And it's very clear to me the State Department said at the beginning, we want to be here, and we don't really need to do the kind of cost-benefit analysis that anybody should do if they're going to spend this kind of money. Let me ask this question. She said you needed 20,000 student weeks. Is she right or is she wrong? Uh they did an analysis on based on what we gave them that may well be co the correct figure. So she knows how many weeks of training you need, but you do not know how many weeks of training you need. Is that fair? Senator, that is fair. Okay. Well, I have a lot of, of questions about the confidence we should have in in this whole process. What is the lodging going to cost? What is the number? Because if you're doing this analysis, in a business analysis, I'm channeling the chairman here, what you want to do is you want to look at, I got lodging included in this proposal. I don't have lodging in this proposal. You can't do a cost-benefit analysis without figuring out what the lodging costs Senator, are. Senator, we pay the lodging costs no matter which place that we're at. They're going to charge us for lodging. We don't get it free. You pay those same lodging costs. It's what slightly is the lower than the per diem cost that we pay at a hotel. What is your plan for the lodging costs if you uh, go forward this facility in Virginia? We typically pay about $15 million in lodging. It would be the same as we're currently paying. I don't think this was a business analysis at all. I think this is what we want, and we're going to figure out a way to get it. And that's not the way we go about spending taxpayer money. Thank so you, Mr. Chairman.